Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at some problem 53 in chapter 15. Chapter 15 is about waves, and in this problem, it's just the follow problems for 52. In we look and look at this system, we can see there is an oscillator. The frequency is given, and it it do then this part do the standing wave right, and the length of this part give us a range, and over the pulley. It connected with the mass, and this mass is given. And also the string's leader density is given there. Now question, we ask you how many different steady waves patterns we have. And what does that mean? That means how many nodes this steady wave can have, right? So this is ask you to find the n number. Now when we want to find the n number, so how can we do that? We can consider the equation in our test book, lambda equal to 2L over N, right? The lambda is a wavelength, 2L is just a, the L is a distance for these two Ns, and the N is just a how many knots, how many part, uh, standing wave patterns. So it looks like we need to find the N. And as you can see, it tells you the range of the L. So we can convert this equation equals to this one. And this L, the range is given. So we can say N is the integral. If we know the number for lambda, then we can find the range for N. Do you agree? Yes. Now next question, how can we find the lambda? So we come back. We can say lambda is called wavelength. So wavelength is the distance the wave traveled for one period, right? So we use the velocity times the period, and the period can be write as one over f, one over frequency. So v over f, right? Now, next question, how can we find the wave's velocity? So we use the equation we have at zero. We can see we have the equation, there is a velocity v is just a squared tension over mu. Right, so we input this V inside, we can get the lambda of this wavelength there, and then we input the lambda inside, then we can find the equation. Uh, we can find the, this uh, uh, work for the n, the range for n is uh, 0 0.74 to 11.1, as we talked about before. n is an integral, so n is from the 1 to 11. Thank you.